What's going on guys? I'm Marcus from the Resale Workshop and we just finished shipping 28 items for a total of $843, um, bringing us a total for the week of $4,290. I just wanted to run through our top 10 items and show you kind of what's selling uh, good for us. And then I also have a bonus item at the end that I think is pretty easy to pass up on that I'll share with you. So first up we have Rothy's, uh, the flat round toe. Buyer paid $64.46. Rothy's aren't selling like they used to, um, but they're still selling pretty good. I'll take $64 all day. Next up is a brand that's pretty easy to pass up on. Um, a lot of people still associate Wrangler with being sold at Walmart and low value. Um, however, if you can find them made in USA, um, any, any vintage thing and throw the keyword brush popper in there, you're gonna make good money on this one. Buyer paid $48.94. Um, I think this is the third one this week that sold for over $40. If you can find it with an Aztec pattern, even better. Next up, Diesel Industry, the Larky jeans. Buyer paid $46.94. Uh, you can find diesel jeans pretty much everywhere. This is kind of what you're looking for when you're thumbing through the racks. Next up is a pair of Under Armour Flow Velocity shoes. Buyer paid $44.01. Good size, 10 and a half, and they're in really good condition. They sold quick within a week. Next up is a brand that I don't pick up a lot. Uh, this one is a Polo Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater. I picked it up, it's because it's 90% wool, 10% cashmere, expecting to sit on it for a couple more months till the weather, weather started cooling off, but this one sold for $41.94. If something feels like a premium material, it's always a good idea to look at that material tag, of course. Uh, next up, Tracksmith shorts. These were a size extra small. Uh, didn't really expect them to sell as fast as they did. They sold for $41.74, and they sold within two days of listing them. Next up, Lululemon, of course, still selling like crazy. The shorts, the skorts. Um, find them on Lulu Fanatics, figure out what they're called, list them as that, and they're going to sell really good for you. Buyer paid $38.89, size 6, good size, back to school, you know the deal. Next up is a good one. These are diesel jeans again, but they're vintage. Uh, it was like some Y2K, uh, made in Italy. Buyer paid $38.28. Next item, L.L. Bean soft shell jacket. L.L. Bean's another brand that you have to be careful with. A lot of their basic stuff, like their button up shirts, um, aren't gonna sell for a lot of money and they're gonna sit in your store for a long time. A lot of L.L. Bean outerwear does really well. This one sold. Looks like we had listed this within the last few days. So sold really quick, didn't even have to wait for it. Next item up, Kate Spade, Poppy Slip-On Flats. Buyer paid $34.95. The bottoms of these are leather and they were really rough, scratched up like crazy. Um, and I, I really didn't want to sit there and scrub on the leather a lot or use like a saddle soap. Plus they're all jeweled up on the sides and didn't want to risk knocking those off, scrubbing on them with a brush. Buyer paid $34.95. We have had those listed for probably two months. Um, so they took a while to sell, but we also, of course, declined a lot of uh, lower offers just because you know they're premium, they're unique, then there wasn't a lot listed in that size. Last item is the item that I think is very easy to pass up on, Icebreaker Merino Wool Pants. The logo looks like a champion logo, so if you're thumbing through the racks and you see it, you don't even really think about it. However, uh, these will sell all day, whether they have, you know, holes, flaws, doesn't matter. You're still going to get, uh, it's still going to be a $20 bill for you. Here's the picture of the logo on the ones that we had. Um, I'll throw up their, you know, a picture of their logo. If you like this type of video or it helped you out, please drop a like or subscription. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Crush your sales goals and have a good week.